there's all this other space here that we haven't used. So I'm going to take advantage of that. And let's, um, let's use some of the rest of this, okay? Now, some of these are a bit trickier, so I'm gonna walk you through this next one, and um, you wanna wa watch quite closely, okay? So this next bit, this next bit, I'm gonna write the instruction for you because it's not in your textbook, and I'd like you to write it down next to where you've drawn this diagram, okay? So you've done the translation. This time, let's do a rotation. Here's the rotation I want us to do, okay? Rotate, you should write this down. Rotate the shape, it's called A, B, C, D, E, F, G. We're going to rotate it. And we're going to rotate it about a particular point. Because if I say rotate, you don't mean, you don't know if I mean like rotate around here or like rotate around here. Like look at the um, hands of the clock, right? Look at the hands of the clock. I think we all agree that the heads are rotating, right? But the heads are not rotating like this. See this? Like this pen is rotating. But that's not how those hands are rotating. What are they rotating about? What's the center? Um, the dot. Yeah, it's the dot. It's the middle of the clock. Okay. Uh, the center. Yeah, very good. So I'm going to take that as my inspiration. We're going to rotate this shape about the origin. Not the dot. Okay. We have a better name for it than the dot. Okay. So. This one's a bit trickier. This one's a bit trickier. So I want you to watch quite closely. What color would you like me to do? I just use blue. Pink? Pink. Pink, pink was in first, so let's go with pink. Okay. Shh. Oh, I'm missing something. I need to rotate this. I need a size. I need an, an angle. Like how far do you want me to rotate? Okay. We might do um We'll do a nice simple one, okay? Let's go with 90 degrees just so you know. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's go. You want to go? Well, I, I want to use this space over here. So I'm going to go clockwise. Okay, so. Shh. Now, now I do want you to put your pens down again. Put your pens and pencils down again for a moment. And watch this next bit because it's a bit sneaky. In order to do this rotation well, it'll help a little bit if, I don't know if you've ever seen a building that's being actually constructed, right? If they're building like this tall, I don't know how many of you sort of go past um, castle towers and that kind of thing. If you're building like a, a tall skyscraper, like a 21 story block next to a new train station, right? around that, around that, what you do is you put all of this extra stuff, right? We call it scaffolding, okay? So that you can reach the higher parts of the building, it helps you, okay? So what we're gonna do is, let's get this guy out of the way. We're gonna do some scaffolding. I'm gonna use, Jaren, was it you? Did you pick pink? Okay. We're gonna use Jaren's chosen color for the scaffolding. And then I'm gonna draw the image in a whole new color. Okay, so watch. As I do these steps, this time I want you to do them with me, okay? So pick up your ruler. Pick out your ruler. First thing we're gonna do, let's start with A. Okay. First thing we're gonna do is draw from A to the point we're rotating around. That's the origin, right? So it looks something like this. Um, hold on, is that gonna be right? How's that look? Does that go straight there? What do you think? Yeah, does it look okay? All right. Now I'm going to take that whole line and I'm going to use that just like the hands of the clock, okay? So imagine this is my, um, this is like my minute hand if you like, okay? It's going to rotate 90 degrees around. You may like to use your ruler to measure how long this length is, okay? And then once you've got that, we're going to rotate it 90 degrees like that, okay? So I think if I'm reading mine right, Let's have a look here. It's going to be six. I think it's going to end up over there. What do you think? Does it look like it's gone 90 degrees and clockwise? Yeah? So you can see it's come all the way around here. Now, before I move on to the next point, I want to notice something really cool and interesting. This is the number plane, right? So I've got all these coordinates everywhere. What are the coordinates of A? Can someone tell me the coordinates of A? Yeah, Aiden. Um, um, the first A or the A we're doing right The now? original A. Um, the coordinates is negative two, six. Negative two, 
comma six. Perfect. Okay. Now have a look at the coordinates of my new shape or my new point rather. This is my new a dash. What are its coordinates? Look carefully. Look carefully. Nega, what do you think? Oh, hold on. Here's five over here. I think it's moved oh, over a little bit, right? Six? I think it's a six. I think it's a six. And I think I heard the two, right? Now look, do you see these numbers are related? That's not a coincidence, is it, right? Those numbers are connected to each other. So that's really important. We'll use that later. All right, what else can we do? We're doing A, now we're gonna do B, right? I should have put this one in green. So let's put this guy over here. This is the start of our new shape, right? You can see that B is actually gonna be... Oh, yeah, see what I did there? Looks like B is gonna be here, or the new B rather. B dash. Can you see it? Do you see how it's rotated around 90 degrees and clockwise, right? So I've got my new A dash, I've got my new B dash, I'll make them all the right color. Okay. And you can see if I do this for A and B and C and keep rotating around, I'm gonna get my new shape. Why don't you try and do the rest of the shape and then just like this blue one, we can compare and see what they look like. So, you can, right? Yeah, yeah, good. Okay, so I'm gonna complete my rotated shape. It's gonna look like this. You might notice, whoopsie daisy. Um, you might notice it has to overlap with your first shape. Did you notice that when you started rotating things around? So I think you're gonna get these guys in here. And then where do I go from here? Where does the arrow face? The arrow is pointed down. Sorry, sir. I'm just pausing to make sure we're all focused. I don't doubt there's some really good conversations happening at the moment. That's good at the right time. Is that okay? Yeah? Let's try again. I'm finishing off this rotated shape, okay? So you can see I'm gonna need to go up like this. And there is my new image, okay? So if you are on the way, this is what you ought to end up with, okay? Now, the last thing I'm gonna show you, which is really cool, and then um, I'll just write some questions out you can do from homework and then you can pack up, is that I asked some people, oh, you know, we've done sliding, we've done translating, we've done rotating, the last one left is? Flipping. Reflection, right? So there's no reflection. So, you accidentally did reflection, okay, well. What I'm going to do is, I asked, um, I asked these guys up here to help me with, um, to help me with a reflection. Okay. Shh. And what they did was they took this image, the green arrow, huh, green arrow, and they, see what I did there? I promise, okay. They reflected that shape across the X axis. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think this is the shape you got, right? Down here? Yeah, excellent. Okay, so I'm just going to finish it off. Now, what I want to ask you is this. To get this purple shape down here, ooh, that's a bit wonky, but you get the idea. To get to this purple shape down here, how many transformations did I do? I think I did two, right? I went from the original to the green one. What did I do? That was rotation, right? And then I went from green to purple. And so I reflected. So that was two, right? That was two. So now my question is, let's get rid of all of this extra stuff here. Is there a way I can get from here to here? Not in two steps, but in one. Give them a second. Let them look. I will ask you for the question, the answer in a second. Have a look. Can you see it? Can you see a way I could do it? Okay, now these guys are bursting. Why don't you guys tell us what you guys found? Sorry, rotated around the point two and two. Two, two, that's over here. Yeah. Ah. Okay, so if I do a different rotation, look at this, this is so cool. Here's two, two, right? Do you see how they got from here and they've rotated around what direction? Clockwise? Anti-clockwise. Anti-clockwise, they've gone this way, right? And so it's kind of come around 
like that. I really like that. Is there another way? Yes. Can we do this another way? Yeah, what do you reckon? You do, um, you turn it, you rotate it 90 degrees about C. About C, ooh. Uh, Which way? Clockwise? Clockwise. Are you sure? Yes. Which way will it face? Anti-clockwise. I'm going to put one last line into here because I really love this answer and I have a different one which is what's so cool about maths. Have a look at this line. Can you look carefully at this line for me? Yeah, look, if you, can you all turn your heads? Can you turn your heads right like that, 45 degrees? And if you think of this as like the middle, can you see that this is a reflection? These guys are so cool. They love to work together.